lighting is pretty. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Hello, my name is Francesco Di Francesco, and welcome to the second vlog. I'm in a second one. <laughs> Anyways, this is just to update you on the process of writing the steel dossiers and anything else that I've been doing uh, this week. I haven't gotten to write much, uh, simply because, well, uh, my recent short film that I did called Clue Staff Actor, I actually held a private screening on, on Wednesday. Uh, I did a little kind of a contest for people to submit themselves to, um, I won't put in the contest here, but here's a little trailer of Clue Staff Actor, which was nominated for two best documentary uh, awards at two separate Toronto Film Festivals. So here is the trailer for that. And you're back! Okay, good. Uh, yeah, so I had a little premiere for that, a little private screening. Only one person actually did the, uh, the contest that I put out on Sunday uh, to view it. So he, he, my friend, a friend of mine, Richard, he, um, since he was the only one, he said, hey, why don't you come on by, we'll watch it together, as opposed to doing it online, and so that's what we did. And his sister was there, and his roommate was there, they laughed, so that made me happy. So that was pretty good. And then the other thing was I got a surprise audition, which was due the next day, so I had to do that and uh, get that done at Laughing Viking, which helped me out a lot, so I'm just waiting to hear on that. And then also I got some exciting news, which I'm not going to share yet. I'm going to share probably in a future, future, future vlog, but that's fine. But back to the steel dossiers, uh, and if you're if you're wondering what that squeakiness is, that's this chair here. I'm actually working in Murdoch's office here. Well, not his office. It's in Station House Number Four. Uh, anyways, so uh, I managed to actually write, fully develop a first draft of the Dear Woman script. Uh, I did touch upon that a little bit earlier in the previous vlog. Uh, but if you don't know the Dear Woman legend, it is a Native American mythology. Uh, it, it's Depending on the tribe, it's many different incarnations of it. But the, what I gathered from it, I'll just tell you. So the Dear Woman can be a good spirit or a bad spirit that wants her uh, vengeance. Um, and the way the story goes is... Um, the dear woman, she was an actual human at first, and she was a victim of a savage rape that took place in the woods or in the forest. And uh, the perpetrators who did it just left her there, and then a fawn comes and uh, lays next to her so she wouldn't die alone. However, when she dies or during it, um, the gods or the deer themselves grant her, I don't want to say a wish, but grant her revenge back to give to her perpetrators. So she becomes half human, half deer, and she finds her perpetrators and she takes revenge out on them for doing what they did to her. And then after she's done that, she roams off. She roams like the forest, I would say, and uh, whenever there is anybody who is... Uh, Treating anybody wrong or anything like that, she comes out uh, and she lures them, she entrances them, and then she kills them. Uh, there is there is stories of how to, uh, what to look for when you encounter a deer woman. For instance, the deer woman doesn't like chanting and does not like tobacco. So that's one way to ward off a deer woman. As well, if you're under her spell, and you happen to take a look at her feet, because the feet, her feet, because she is half deer, half woman, her feet are actually cloven hooves. So if you happen to look at her feet, you managed to escape her spell, her enchantment, and uh, you managed to live with the, with the, 
with the moral that you lived of going through all that. There is, I forget the moral, there is morals to the story of, of um, staying faithful to your family, uh, keeping the fire, it was something about keeping with the fire, but it was more so staying faithful to the family. And that's the moral of the story, because there's, there's other stories where their dear woman would uh, entrance a male and the male will follow into the woods, leaving the deer woman alone with the male. That's another thing. The deer woman likes to have her victims alone. Uh, and so it would leave him alone. Instead of killing him right away, he'll just live out the rest of his years with her, but in a sad, depressed, uh, almost um, rotting away, so to speak. Um, yeah, almost rotting away, so to speak. Kind of like my previous relationship. No, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> uh, so I read now the first draft. So what I do is I write in this notebook that I have. I don't know if the camera can pick up, but these are um, sticky notes where I just write where the scripts are that I've written in there. That way I can easily flip back to them. So I wrote out one um, draft, the first draft for the dear woman and then after that I will go on a computer in the script writing program and then type it out and edit it any kind of way if, if there's something I didn't like that I wrote down as a dialogue or direction I'll change it in the program there uh, but once I was done writing that I managed to get a story that I liked I looked back into the cosmic egg I was talking about the cosmic egg the last time and the cosmic egg uh, I wrote it down here because there was like I said it's very many cultures, but the cosmic egg is the beginning of some sort and the universe of some primordial, 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 like I said, I'm going to leave mistakes in, some primordial dial, primordial being comes into existence by hatching from the egg, right? And I said I was going to do the Finnish version of it because there is... There's many cultures of the cosmic egg, but that was the gist of what I just read. And the Finnish version is the world is created uh, by a duck on the knee of Ilmatar, the goddess of air. The duck lays six golden eggs and one iron egg. When Ilmatar moves her leg, the eggs fell into the sea and broke, the pieces becoming land, sky, stars, and sun. And the iron one, it was it the iron one? Uh, Aries is one. one. Yeah, and the iron one actually becomes like gray clouds. So with that story, I did say I was going to use the informant. I do have some ideas on where I want to go with this story. Uh, I'm still hashing them out. I haven't written down much for this yet because I'm still in that process phase of thinking about it. But uh, from what, what I have so far, because it is the informant, uh, the one thing I'll let drop here, because let's face it, probably only one person is watching this, so I'm not really risking anything. Uh, but uh, I do believe what I'm going to go with is the informant won the golden egg in a poker game. Um, but I'm not going to say what, what else about it, but that's what the story's going to be. I'm not going to say, I, like I said, I wrote out the Dear Woman script. I'm not going to say what happens in there. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be something where, uh, like I said, because the dear woman has dealt with uh, like rape and violence, there you won't see that in the script. So you don't have to worry about that. It's it's it, she's already it's a deer. It's half deer, half woman. Uh, so that's that's that script. And the cosmic egg is yeah. All I'm going to say is the informant will win it from a poker game. I'm just figuring out how to write each beat of the script and make it into a fun little script that I find entertaining. And then the one, the other one that, I, okay, so the Boogeyman script. <laughs> I have an idea of a location I want to use for it. And because I have this location idea, I'm trying to figure out a story of it. So far, the only thing I'll have going for it is you'll find out in the Boogeyman script that Arthur Steele, Detective Arthur Steele.
Sorry, I didn't say that right. Steel. Arthur Steel. There it is. Uh, you're going to find out that the Boogeyman was Arthur Steele's first encounter as a kid, and this is what drove him to be the detective that he is today, on the search for the supernatural and the science fiction. That's all I have for that one. And like I said in the previous episode, there's many ideas that I have. Uh, the Dorian Gray one, I want to write. I didn't write that one yet, because I want to finish the Cosmic Egg one, since I have uh, a good grasp of what I want to do for that. The Boogeyman one will probably be the next after that. We'll see how it goes. And then maybe I'll do Dorian Gray or the, the Devil one, whichever one uh, comes first. But if I write all those scripts, including the ones I said last video, I still have two more slots for two different things. Um, the only thing is figuring out, like I said, if, if I have the location, if I have the props, and... Um, yeah, if I have location and props, and can pull them off. So, the other one that I was thinking... There's a lot of many different ones that I could do. Uh, normally, doing stuff outside is good. That's why I like to film this during the summer. But uh, I don't want to do too many outside. You know, they're all outside. Uh, like, the, the first season. If you watch the first season, like I said, it's all here on Rumble, so feel free to watch it. The first season, the, the goal was to not do all of the steel dossiers inside where his office is. Which is, if you pay close attention, it's not really a desk, it's a coffee table that Arthur Steele uses, which will come up eventually. And other little things about Arthur Steele will come up eventually. I, I did put a couple of things in the Dear Woman script where Arthur Steele would slip some of his uh, past dealings, let's say and uh, certain other things he does. But uh, I, don't know, I don't know yet what those other two slots are gonna be. But uh, yeah, so I have Cosmic Egg, Dorian Gray, The Devil, Boogeyman, those four to actually write and complete because those are the four I wanna do. Then I have two more, which I don't even know what the ideas are yet. Uh, so we'll get to figure that out as this goes along. Then, like I said, the next step is going to be storyboarding. But that's it. That's all I have for this week. And I don't have much because I had a couple of other things, which were quite great. And uh, obviously, I, I work. I work. Um, the other time. So I, there's still time to write, but not as much as I'd like to. But, you know, once I get on the groove of things, I can write something out in three hours. Dear Woman took... Yeah, Dear Woman took three hours to write, so yeah, something like that. Um, so if you made it this far, I think this one might be a little bit longer than the previous one. But if you made it this far, thank you for sharing your energy with me. I'm so glad you can, uh, you, you've can watched up until this point or listened to me. I might be on in the background somewhere. Uh, so thank you for that. Uh, whoever watches these, I am truly appreciative and thankful that you are watching the these and hopefully um, hopefully you continue to watch and maybe who knows we'll grow some more but with that said uh, that's it that's all and uh, I'll see you in the next one have a good one and I'm gonna cut here and I'm gonna leave all that in so you can see